recipe, which is one of the Afghan dessert. And the name is Shibera. Shibera is basically made of dairy product and is a milk fudge, and it's very famous. And um, this is special for Eid, so you guys can prepare ahead of time any Eid at any year. Um, I'll show you guys a very easy recipe, so let's take a look at the ingredients and let's go to the recipe. Ingredients for Shitbeta, which is the Afghan milk fudge. Here I have this three cups of dry milk. I'm using this brand. Um, it says skim milk, but if you can find full cream, that's okay too. So it's about three cups. At the same time, I'm using cashew nuts, about uh, two tablespoons. You can substitute this with almonds. And uh, same thing, two tablespoons of walnuts. Here I have is half a teaspoon of cardamom powder and uh, half a tablespoon of rose water. And this is the brand I'm using. You can use any rose water brand. And here I have is one cup of whipping cream. This is the whipping cream. A lot of people use this just the sugar syrup for this ingredient, but I'm using a whipping cream and a half a cup of sugar. Sugar is for your own taste. Uh, so first thing in a bowl, you're going to add the whipped cream and at the same time you're going to add the sugar. You don't have to stir this because I'm going to place this in a microwave. Alright, so place this in your microwave and set it off for 3 minutes and start. Alright, so next with these dry fruits, uh, a lot of people make powder of this, like they grind it in their mixer. But what I like is the crumbles, I want to make it into a crumble, so you need a clean cloth. So you can do one by one, and just place the top, and you can use a roller or you can use anything to make this into a crumbles. Alright, so I have made them into crumbles now. Remember, cashew nuts is optional, you can use almonds if you like. So now you're going to mix everything here including the rose water and the cardamom powder and give this a good mix alright guys so this has been three minutes for the cream and sugar and uh, I'm going to mix the uh, dry stuff slowly at a time and I'm using fork because it helps better so just mix it until they're nicely all dissolved Alright guys, so this is the texture I have. This is uh, a little bit sticky and it's it's pretty hot, the container. So just remember, if this gets too dry, you can add a little bit more of the uh, whipped cream. Or if it's too runny, you can add more of the dry ingredient, which is the milk powder. So I'm going to leave this aside just for a minute. Okay guys, so here I have a dish, which is uh, 20 by 20 centimeter and um, here I have a foil paper on top this is very helpful do not use partial paper so I have butter here which I'm going to apply all over you can use salted or unsalted it doesn't really matter alright so once you apply the butter all over the dish here so you're quickly gonna add everything so I have added all the ingredients here uh, I mean the mixture so make sure you spread it out evenly Alright guys, so the last step here I have is unsalted uh, pistachio and uh, it's about two tablespoons which I grinded made into a powder. So this is specially used for garnishing. So I'm going to sprinkle some on top and then we'll go to the final step. Once this cools down for about 20 minutes to half an hour, cover this with a plastic wrapper and you're going to keep this in your fridge for one full day so this all gets together and it turns a little bit more harder than it is right now before you serve this so place it in your fridge for one full day all right guys so it's been one full day that this was resting uh, in the fridge so I'm just gonna remove this and that's the whole benefit of um, keeping it in the um, almonian foil so then you can cut it however shape you want Alright guys, so this is our shibera, which is the Afghan milk fudge. As you can see here, this is delicious. I have already tried a little bit of this and my husband loves it too. The family enjoys this. So you can um, serve this at any event. This is specially made for eat for all the brothers and sisters around the world. So um, I hope you guys do like this recipe and uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this and you find it easy. Leave me your feedbacks. And until next time, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe.